But first, a Wheeling real estate developer will spend the next five years in prison after defrauding investors out of millions of dollars. Thanks for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Michelle Chavez. And I'm Stephen Moore. Jeffrey James Morris was the managing member of Roxby Development. He pleaded guilty back in February to one kind of wire fraud and one kind of tax fraud in relation to misused investments for the Scottish Rite Cathedral, the McClure House Hotel, the Mount Carmel Monastery. He will serve 60 months in prison and have to pay restitution, totaling nearly $5 million to investors and more than half a million to the IRS. This case is a great example of one uh, that can have a deterrent effect on others who might be considering engaging in this type of behavior. So it's my hope that this case sends a message to anyone else who's thinking about engaging in any type of fraud, whether it's investor fraud, whether it's uh, elder financial exploitation, healthcare fraud, whatever the type of fraud may be, it's my hope that this case will discourage people from engaging in that type of fraud. Mr. Elenfeld says that five years in federal prison for someone without any prior criminal history sends a strong message. He was also pleased with the verdict and says you don't typically see people reach the five-year threshold for white-collar cases.